So this is a video by Platinum Wow, boys. Let's give this little video a watch, guys. Platinum Wow. I really, really like his videos. And he made one uh, in regards to the Demon Hunter lore and Wow. So uh, get your popcorn, guys. And we'll watch this. So, oh, you want to be a Demon Hunter. Oh, shoot. Well, let me tell you, it's not going to be easy. Only the most insane, vengeful elves in all of Azeroth will choose to walk this path. The lore surrounding this dark art is by far the darkest lore that has ever existed in the Warcraft okay. universe. <laughs> this may- <laughs> Yo, Doctor, thank you for the 2-1. Makes Death Knights look like they're playing Hello Kitty Island Adventure over there. Oh. A lot of the lore I'll be covering comes from the Illidan book, which is by far the darkest top Warcraft- Top corner? Why? You guys prefer the top corner? You guys like this more or what? Okay. Warcraft book that has ever been released, and also one of the most well-written. But okay. first, we must ask the question, why would you even want to become a demon hunter? Yeah, I mean... For most that walk this path, the Legion has taken everything from them. I the mean, demons yes. have broken okay. their families and left their homes in ruin. Poor Billy. They are an intergalactic swarm of death and destruction that knows no mercy. Maybe, yeah, I, I was about to say, maybe a lot of these people that want to be demon hunters in lore... They just think it's badass, man. They get to get war glaives. They have like cool bandanas over their eyes and like glowing green eyes. It's just really cool, right? They want to be edgy and sick looking. For yeah. Blood Elves, their home was wiped out by the Scourge, a okay. creation of the Legion that wreaked the same havoc on their lands. During the Third War, the forces of Azeroth fought back against the Legion, but an elf named Ilden had a unique approach to combat. He absorbed the fell magic transforming himself into the very thing he swore to destroy and use their own Let's might see. against them. Behold the flames of Asenoth! Oh, shoot. You know nothing of power! Dude, he's like an anime. You are literally prepared! Oh! So they're all Illidan wannabes. Maybe they saw how much Illidan popped off and he was like, oh my god, I want to pop off like that guy. I want to be the big juicy Illidan, you know? God. This is too easy. <laughs> yeah. The radical lengths Illidan went to defeat the Legion were controversial, okay. but some elves were left inspired by his tenacity. No form of combat would even hold a flame to the carnage Illidan committed Slaying with his everything. demonic powers. Later on, Illidan would venture to the Outlands to amass his own army of demons to defeat the demons. And many Calderai and Cinderai ventured into this dangerous land mm -hmm. to learn how to wield fell magic as he does. I so, so, so they're kind of becoming what they sought to destroy. Because they're using the very power that they want to destroy to destroy that power, right? So they're dipping into the thing that they don't like in order to beat the things that they hate. I mean, I guess in, in, a lot of, in a lot of situations in life, that's how it goes, right? I guess other races can be demon okay. hunters, but there really has been no history of such. There was mention of a human demon hunter in the Alliance and Horde Compendium, but this is a very outdated oh. book that probably isn't canon. And let me oh. just make this incredibly clear. Uh, the elves seeking out Illidan are all insane. In order to get to the Black Temple, they have to venture through some of Warcraft's most hostile environments, yeah. filled with fell orcs, fell reavers, demons, and hundreds of other things trying to okay. kill you. In the Ilden book, it explains how Zangermarsh. Hey, that's the mob blacks thing. This mob is a mob in, in, in Sanction Marsh, in like the middle part of Sanction Marsh that dropped like a little quest for you as well. There's a lot of these mobs around Sanction Marsh which drops those unu unique like quest items where you can kill and you get it. It's pretty funny actually. It's kind of cool filled with toxic gas and poisonous insects that will sting you and then grubs yeah. will wiggle out of your eyes and skin. Yeah. Oh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> also, you have to watch out for wardens, oh. a specialized military force of assassins and jailers of Night Elf society who deem Ilden and his use of demonic powers as an abomination and they hunt down anyone following a similar dark path of harnessing fell magic, no matter what their intentions are. Now, the Blood Elves that want to become demon hunters have it a bit easier. 
Most of, if not all of them, are followers of Kael'thas Sunstrider, who's one of Illidan's closest allies, so they probably didn't have to wander through- Okay, I will say this real fast. TBC had some sick bosses, man. Like, in terms of lore, there, there were some really, really awesome ones, man. Lady Vash, Kel'Thas, Illidan, Kil'Jaden. They had some- there were some sick bosses, man. It was really, really awesome. Nowadays, it's like, okay, we have like is a- Is that a man riding a shrimp? That is a man riding a shrimp. Thank you for the 12 months. I appreciate that. Like, I think it's just the earlier, earlier versions of WoW had like so sick bosses, man. They had big names, a lot of lore tied to them. Nowadays, like, yeah, it's cool. We're killing a big boss, Rasiketh, like a big massive lightning dragon. But this is more cool because these were the pe these were the people and the villains from like Warcraft, right? Definitely was, man. Thank you, Falcon, for the 12 months, by the way. And Duke Taboot, thank you for the T1 as well. Outlands this trying is cool. to find him. Suffice to say, getting to Illidan's fortress called the Black Temple is uh -huh. a challenge in itself. And we haven't even started the process of becoming a demon hunter yet. If yeah. you actually survive getting to the temple, you'll be met with elves insane as you are. In the oh, lower really? quarters of the temple, there are refugee dens filled with elves, some screaming in insanity, and others shrieking in despair. In the book, insane. some of these psychotic characters include a night elf whose face is half burned and caved in from an infernal, another who <laughs> maniacally laughs at literally everything, and probably the most brutal is a night elf whose kids were burnt by the legion, and now straps a charred husk of her child against her at all times. Uh, One okay. night she was screaming over and over again about the burning, and a blood elf tried to silence her. Okay. She killed him. <laughs> Bro. This game is rated T for teen. If you arrive and haven't <laughs> been killed by the other refugees, you'll find- There's some messed up lore, man. Like, it, it, it's... I mean, we're gonna hear about that whenever, like, the initiations for, like, the, uh, the, um, the Demon Hunter stuff like that. But a little bit of a spoiler. They, they need to, like, actually gouge out their eyes and stuff. It's messed up, man. It, it's actually... It, it's crazy. ...start your training, which is just as, if not more dangerous than the venture to get here. Uh-huh. One in five elves will survive this transformation. The rest will die in a multitude of ways I'll explain soon. How's that work? First, our training starts off pretty tame. You'll learn about demons, the methods of infiltration, and okay. the basic wielding of weapons. Ah. And throughout this training process, demon hunters develop a weird sort of companionship as they're all filled with rage, grief, and they're all a little bit insane. But the next okay. portion of training will truly test their fortitude. Mm -hmm. An aspiring hunter must perform a ritual where they must fight a demon one on one. Most Ooh. often, the demon they must slay is the very type that killed their family, making the bloody duel even more grim. Yeah. Oh shoot, he's doing it. Yeah, it makes it personal. Pick it up. And then you go for the stab. Yeah, jump over, go for the stab, and do it, do it like around the chest, right? So it like it really, really punctures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. After defeating the demon in one-on-one -on -one combat, now you must perform the most sickening act in the transformation process. Ooh. One must cut Ew. out the heart of the demon and consume it. You feel the burning heat oh. from the fell magic radiating down your throat. Feel its power kicking in your stomach. Okay. Your mind will go blank, and endless torrents of the Legion's destruction will devour your consciousness. You will witness countless worlds cleaved in twain, countless lives dragged into endless suffering, and uh, oh. countless swarms of okay. demons enacting the Legion's will. All the realities, okay. all the futures crushed under the heel of inevitable fell uh. might. You will be forced to witness the moment of grief that compelled you to become a demon hunter over and over okay. again. Experiencing okay. grief, rage, and insanity for an endless eternity. And the worst part of it all is... Oh no, it can't be, it's... <gasps> This video is sponsored by Empires and Puzzles, an amazing <laughs> free-to-play match 3 oh, RPG no. game that is easy to learn but hard to master. Oh, no. You see, in this fantasy universe, <laughs> you will travel across faraway lands and match the color of shields good. in a very epic, strategic, <laughs> and visually stunning fashion. Wow. There are over 400 heroes you can collect. 
New heroes are released Look monthly, at that, guys. but my personal favorite is Bao Chan because Damn. of how chubby his little cheeks are. And you can level up and build out all of these characters' talent trees and compete with them Holy. in PvP leaderboards to test your skills. There are Jesus. continuous updates like weekly events, themed challenges, and much more. Most recently, <laughs> there's the Season of Love event, which features new no, heroes, we'll stages, we'll and it. difficulty modes. So what are you waiting for? Check out my link in the description That's and epic. get in on the most epic match three game of wow. all time that you can find on iOS and Android. Empires and puzzles. That's epic. So how okay, it is with ads, guys, in videos? If you don't like the ad, you can just skip it, man. It really supports the content creator. He gets to do what he, what he wants to do for a living. And, you know, it is what it is. I, I, I think it's awesome, man. Like, get the bag, man. Get, you know... He's doing it for a living, he, he gets a little bit extra money, it, it's just good for him, man. You know what I mean? That's how I see it, at least, right? A lot of people get very angry when they see, like, uh, YouTubers and streamers getting, like, getting sponsored and stuff like that. It makes them able to do what they, what they do, right? So, I mean, if you don't like the ad, you can just skip it. I'm gonna watch it, because why not? But that's how it goes, right? Alright, let's, uh, let's continue. Back to the endless pain and suffering you will experience eating a demon heart. Oh, okay. The absolute pain and misery demon hunters experience oh on their demon heart induced torment causes them to rip out their own eyes in insanity. What's left? Is that really worth it? Like, is. I mean, I'm just thinking, man, like, do you really want to go that far for that? That's like, you're literally like mentally torturing yourself, ripping out your own eyes and. Laser eyes, though. I guess it's true. You do get laser eyes. Yeah, that's worth it. You know what? Heck it. It's worth it. You get double jump and laser eyes. <laughs> Left of the demon hunter is a broken, tortured husk of who they once were. Okay. Now they observe the world around them with a spectral sight, okay. letting them sense the essence of demons around them because of... Oh. Practical stuff about magic, I don't know. Not only that, but they must wrestle with the demon they now have inside of them. Oh. It will taunt them, telling them to give into rage and fully envelop themselves the with demonic energy. In an ironic twist of fate, it is the demon that they consumed that may consume them. Yeah. What's next in the process is to imprison the demon within. Okay. Initiates are bound to an operation table, and intricate oh, magical arcane tattoos are carved into their flesh. With Dude, that's wicked, man. Look at this. He's getting tatted up. I didn't know it was actually ta tattoos they got. I thought it was just like something that like spawned in their flesh or something, I guess. But I guess they're actually going to like the tattoo parlor, picking up the favorite one that they like, you know? With a specific purpose to bind the demon within them, making it easier to harness its strength. Of the next period of time, the scars, an initiate's yeah. body will slowly transform. Okay. Horns will sprout from their head, claws will emerge on their hands and feet, pronounced fangs will fill their mouth, okay. and hardened scales will sprout from their skin. Some initiates will not be able to handle the transformation process, mm. realizing that they are turning into the very thing they swore to destroy. Yeah. Others will not have the fortitude to keep the demon bound within them causing them to lose all of their sanity and go into a murderous rampage until they are slain by the other hunters. Damn. But the small They're percentage edgy. of demon hunters that do learn to harness these new powers will become Warcraft's most effective weapon in defeating oh. the Legion. They have seen the power their demonic enemy wields, and they know the only way to truly defeat them is to wield the very power that they harness. I mean, is it? Okay, I mean, I guess it is. Now, a demon that a demon hunter chooses to consume does have different effects on their appearance and powers. Oh. So a hunter who consumes a Felguard will look... What if you consume... <laughs> what? I was... <laughs> I was about to say, what if you consume a succubus? And then, you know, it kind of like transitioned into... <laughs> into that um i mean you you never know right because like if it has altercations of the way you start looking right it turns you into a femboy oh shoot okay okay and fight differently than one who consumes a succubus 
but unfortunately, we don't really see these different effects oh. in game. Those sad. demon hunters continued to live in the Black Temple and work with Lord Illidan to control all of Outlands until the events of the Burning Crusade. During the expansion, the champions of Azeroth assaulted the temple because- That's us, guys! We're the champions! We saved Azeroth! Let's go! Well, Ilden was attacking the Horde and the Alliance there, enslaving the broken yeah. Draenei, and his allies are sucking out all of the water out yeah. of the planet and attacking Shatrath. So, That's not he's less of an anti-hero and more of just an actual villain, even if it's all in the name of defeating the Legion. Mm. Anyways, a special force of demon hunters are sent to a Legion world called Mardoom to collect a relic called the Sargerite okay. Keystone, which allows the user to teleport to any world. That's Players sick. go to retrieve this keystone and teleport back to the Black Temple to realize Ilden has been That's defeated. It. And the Wardens imprison all of the Demon Hunters and store them in the Vault of the Wardens. They don't kill the Demon Hunters because they see them less as people and more as weapons that they can store for safekeeping just in case. Okay. Years later, during the Legion expansion... kind of like... But, what, but if, you, if, they're not, if you don't see their evil, why don't you just let them be? Because you're catching them and then you're just like keeping them as like a little like so you have have them ready in case you need to unleash them. Why won't you just let them do their work then and then let them go kill the uh, you know the demons and stuff like that? I guess maybe they don't see them as actual like peace per, 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 persons as actual people, right? And maybe if they're actually they, they want control over the demon hunters, I guess that does make sense, yeah. So they, they show up to raid on time. I don't think that's in the lore, like the raid times. Yeah, maybe they don't want him to get him taken over. They don't, they don't want the demon hunters to go rampant, rampant and stuff like that. They're just like a weapon. Okay, that makes the sense. The Legion has invaded Azeroth once again, and the demon hunters are broken free by their jailers to fight the Legion. And you probably know during the expansion that, uh, yeah, we kind of defeat the Legion for seemingly ever. Yeah. Not only that, Illidan, their leader, kind of just disappears into space, so <laughs> yeah. they Bye -bye. don't really have any sort of guidance. So, for most demon hunters, it's like, now what? Yep. Now they're just tormented monster people who sacrificed all of their humanity with no real purpose. I mean, they, they achieved the purpose though, right? So now they can just be normal. But they can't really, because they have that demon heart inside of them, like, wrestling the eternal anguish of their ancestors and stuff like that. They're literally just edgelords now. Like, yeah, I bet they're... Like, this is like the same feeling whenever you get full biz gear. Like, you, you have every single piece of gear you want, there's nothing else you need. And it's like, now what? I guess we just wait till something else comes out, you know? They can, e they can ERP in Goldshire. Ah, yes, the final endgame goal of Demon Hunters. You're literally ripping out your own eyes, consuming a demon that's killed your family, and finally I can ERP in Goldshire. <laughs> Come on, man. ...demons still hanging out across the universe, but their problem is pretty much solved. So what are they doing now? Yeah. I can't imagine a Demon Hunter just becoming like a fisherman. No. Or a world-renowned chef. Yeah. Like most new additions to Warcraft's lore during an expansion, they're promptly ignored by the time the next expansion rolls yeah. around. So we're kind of just left in the dark on what they're actually up to. But, you know, after seeing all the well-written Dragonflight side quests that tackle forgotten about lore subjects like this, I'd love to see this done for a demon hunter at some point. After covering the insane lengths it takes to become a demon hunter, I think it's safe to say that demon hunters are the edgiest class in all of WoW. I mean, I mean yeah. yeah. Death Knights are edgy too, but what makes Demon Hunters a step above is that they're willing participants in becoming a monster. Mm -hmm. They choose to seek out the Stark Path by their own free will and are insane enough to carry it out in the name of revenge. Yeah. For Death Knights, they were just raised to become zombies against <laughs> their will, which I think makes them much less cool. Yeah, I mean, if, it, if, it's, a, if it's a choice, something you go down, you inflict all that stuff upon yourself to achieve it, it does make it a little bit more, yeah, like edgy, right? Like you're, you're going down that route. Also, I main a demon hunter. Oh. So, uh, I'm a bit biased. Oh, probably. Thanks again to Empires and Puzzles for sponsoring wow. this video. You can click the link down below to get started. Oh, ready? Do 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 do
do do do do do do what a jammer. Good video. Good video from Platinum Mall, man. He makes some amazing, amazing uh, lore videos, man.